beginning of my leaping spider. I uh, just got back from uh, Ron's front Halloween overload. Uh, helped me weld this up. Um, since I don't weld, don't have a welder, so on my to-do list to learn how to do. But uh, we just finished weld welding this up. Uh, it's about 33 inches long and about 26 inches wide centerpiece. And then there's the bracket that the rear end of the cylinder will attach to. And I'm using a 10 inch throw, inch and a half bore uh, pneumatic cylinder for this. So uh, next thing is to install the uprights. All right, I've got the arms put on this now. Uh, those two back uprights. Uh, the back one is about 30 inches long, and the front one's about 32. And then the extender, one that uh, the horizontal bar there, uh, which the spider will be attached to, is about 46 inches long. And, uh, and we'll attach the cylinder uh, to the anchor points right up there at the front, and then back again here onto that back rod. So that'll be um, our next step in the project. I've got the cylinder installed now and uh, all ready to test. Um, used 3 8 inch by 3 inch uh, bolts on this to make all those attachments with aircraft nuts, washers um, on both ends and in between the two pieces of metal and then on this end of the cylinder I uh, actually use some nylon nuts in there hopefully to keep it even smoother uh, operation and uh, you'll notice that I've got some of the uh, flow controls 90 degree flow controls on here on uh, both ends of the cylinder so that I can adjust uh, the both the rising speed and the returning speed of the prop. So we'll hook this up to some air and see how it works. And I've got the air installed. The compressor's loaded up about 60 pounds of pressure and uh, everything is working just perfectly. Exactly the height I want it to come and it'll just clear over the top of my fence around my graveyard. I'll probably have it popping up a little bit faster than that. Um, got the flow controls pushed down a little bit, uh, but I will open that up and have it jump a little bit faster than that. This is an 18 project board to uh, drive the solenoids. Uh, we'll add on a PIR for a trigger as well, and in addition to the solenoid here that's running the pop-up. We'll also be adding a spitter with another solenoid, so uh, that'll be controlled by the pickaxe as well. And uh, we have this 3AA pack running the uh, pickaxe and providing power for the pickaxe, which is what it likes. And then a 12-volt wall wart, which is providing the power that our solenoids want. That's a 4-point port five-way solenoid that we'll be using 12 volts. So we'll continue on. I do have uh, some things that we still want to add to this. We're going to be putting a shelf on over here for all our controls. Wire mesh that will be uh, welded on to the frame there and then the parts will be wire tied to that to secure everything. And then we'll go to paint and get a spider down out of storage and see if we can get this wrapped up. Now the last uh, piece to be installed was uh, mesh screen here where all of the uh, control components are going to be wired tied down to. Got it welded on, got all the uh, joints 
ground off and prettied up and it's all ready to go to paint now and uh, I'll be painting it up and then adding the spider to it and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put a spitter on it as well so that's in the plans for this year if I can get to it now onto the paint booth installed running very well with about 50 pounds on the compressor and uh, it, with the exception of uh, hopefully adding a spitter to it which I'm awaiting a kit for I think he's all done we finished putting in the shelf finished painting it and he's working really well nice that he goes at 50 pounds of pressure and it's on view here as he pops up his legs shake and I did have one question asked in regards to how I connected this end uh, this is a universal joint cylinder but I removed the pin if you've never done that before you put it in a vise with a nut on one side and tighten it down and push the pin out so that I can install a bolt on there I'm much happier with that much more secure and then just added the nylon washers and the metal washers on the outsides so that's how I adjusted that end so our spiders all done ready to go out and scare some trick-or-treaters